Welcome to Wasteland Reborn, version 906. Base number four, here we go. I've never put so many points into luck before. I'll be getting the perception bobblehead right away with Preston Garvey, plus I'll get a point from that special book at my house. Well, that's good enough. Sure. See, this part's really interesting. I was playing a different mod pack a couple days ago. And the different mod pack needed you to have uneducated shooter disabled during this stage because you would fall through the elevator inject indefinitely so you got to read the read me oh, wonderful. There you do what are. it says I've been looking all over the Commonwealth for you. wish that guy would stop talking to me just whatever to stop Why? talking because you're special of course you're special you're more than just make sure now you have to okay bye bye he is the most annoying guy i've ever met what was i saying uneducated shooter mod it's the mod that lets you kind of do a right leaning left leaning thing Cooking recipes. Okay, so I have to go to the mod config. I have to let this load and categorize itself, which is kind of cool. I didn't know they had this. But that is awesome. This seems like a very well put together mod list. I've played it briefly. I got up to uh, killing the, the Deathclaw in Concord. Before I decided to try to record. So I have to apply these. I guess I reload it. And then I have to say yes to that, which I suppose is this option. All right, I don't know. I think I have to do guns. So right off the bat, you were so weak. And I was doing gambling because I thought caps would be cool. But I think that's probably a waste. I really like this mod, whatever this is. I have decided on these three. Gunsmithery. Influence, long arms. Okay, I had looked through these. These are really interesting. I think Cat Burglar being able to lockpick anything is kind of cool. I always hated how stuff was tiered. Because you just never come back to it. And of course, I like the idea of this one. It's going to give me even more points into gunsmithery. So melee can be three. Whoops. Oh, interesting. You can just hit number two and number one. The quickly favorite stuff. I did not realize that. And what do they give me here? A stim packs can be the plus sign. Nope. And then water. Dash. So I believe you have to go back to mod configuration. And apply more. 
then that should be it. If I've done everything right. Save. And then reload. Assuming that I've done everything correctly, according to the Wasteland Reborns readme, I should be set up. Oops, hitting the wrong buttons here. I wasn't just making those steps up, those are actually instructions of what you're supposed to do. Just double checking, I am on normal difficulty here. There is no difference between anything after normal, the way that everything's balanced. And it's been a very, very long time since I've done survival. So I think I'll stay on normal, just so I don't have to do the annoying food mechanic. I don't mind it, it's just, it's too frequent. Like, having to eat every four hours is, is insane. must have got a critical on him last time when I was playtesting this because I didn't really do damage. Do lasers work better on this guy? Maybe? Bug meat. Where's my water? Yeah, I think the food mechanics could be really cool in this if, if they weren't so frequent. I think every four hours or whatever it's set to, it's like a lot. The backpack. I was playing a previous mod list where you actually open the backpack up, and I'm not sure about this, but if we're at 110 and we equipped it, 120, so it just gives me 10 pounds. It's a file that lets you do things. Okay, I don't really know what those are about yet. These are kind of neat. They're supposed to be some kind of scientist who leaves these notes around. I tried reading them to see if there was some kind of additional information, like tips on how to kill, you know, kill the ratter, which is more effectively. Yeah, from this guy, the scientist. But it looks like it's just lore. Del Lincoln. So we'll just carry this stuff down to Sanctuary. So yeah, I play tested this to see if it was something I wanted to try out. And I gotta say it's it's definitely my favorite model list so far. It's, it seems to be the most well put together. And a story about rats. This is interesting. Again, I've read through this whole thing. Obviously not worth reading through on camera here. But the cave rats section, pig rats, rad rats, and then the very end here is rad shrews. So there's a bunch of different ma, what do you call them, NPCs? Creatures. I was going to call them mobs, like in Minecraft, but I don't think anybody calls them mobs. So right off the bat, Right off the bat, when I was playtesting this, I was absolutely getting destroyed by the bugs. There is a tick in this house that spawns after that rat roach is killed. Um, it's insane, like the damage they do. And I thought I had something configured wrong. So I was checking like the difficulty settings, normal, very hard, all that stuff. But it's just, you're coming right into the vault, you're bad at fighting. They lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. And then I will hang back.
If there's interesting dialogue where it seems new, I might show it, but I'm also planning on cutting a lot of just boilerplate fluff. I haven't fully decided what my plan is. Uh, this is the only mod that I've added. It's the Journals of the Survivor. I'm hoping it will not cause any crashes. But I'm also very cautious that if it does, I will not. I'll have to remove it. The problem with adding mods, as far as I can tell, and like Fallout and all that, is the crash may not become immediately apparent, but it could cause issues down the road. Just, I looked at the bug list for this mod, it doesn't seem like there's any open issues, so it seems like it is pretty non-invasive. But it's kind of a cool little journal. If I tab out of that, what I had done is I did something like lock, lock picks, and then basically I did sanctuary, and any place I found I couldn't get into, I recorded it to come back to later. And mainly because I run out of bobby pins, right? Because I have that perk that lets me or that trait that lets me lockpick any difficulty, as far as I know. Greetings, Wastelander. If you're hearing this, then uh, you must be the curious type. Or desperate. Or the kind of blindly follow orders just because a robot told you to. Either way. You're the exact sort of person I'm looking for. Angelo's the name. And I've got a humding of a proposition for you. Ah, oh, I ask of weak human trust in front. Me as smart as you. Enough, this isn't your moment. Wait until the end. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that. Where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, ca cabs here. Lots of cabs. Maybe more than you've ever seen. And even more, once the job's complete. Now, I've stashed the first part of your payment and a note detailing what I want you to do at Red Rocket Station, north of Fort Hagen. Stupid, useless. Let me crush them, smush them, little sticky goo. Ah I said, ah, enough. Oh, why must you always interrupt when I'm trying to focus on something? <laughs> my, uh, my apologies. Uh, there'll be uh, no crushing. Uh, you, you have my assurance. No. Give me speaky stick. My turn to talk. No, put it down. You're gonna break it. Interesting. Okay. Speaking of the quests, it looks like they give you a lot of stuff to do right off the bat. I am probably going to do this one. Attention, all vault Tech personnel. A reactor failure is imminent in the Vault 111 government facility. Immediate action is required. There are multiple lives at risk. This message will repeat. We got one. This is the exact reason I want the journal. Oops. So it also makes it harder. Uh, I think if we go to... Oh, these are the exact same gun. Okay. Damage 10. Damage 8. Okay, so this is clearly a better gun. I haven't played a lot of Fallout 4 modded. It's been a very long time since I've played Fallout 4 in general. 
So there's a lot of mods that I am unfamiliar with. I played a lot of Skyrim back in the day, but even then, I haven't played Skyrim mods in a long time. I'm sure a ton has changed. If anybody happens to be watching this and noticing something kind of obvious that I am not doing that I should be doing, or something I'm overlooking, let me know. One thing I guess I actually wanted to point out was my my screen, my G, my GUI, whatever you call it. I was trying to make it smaller, like the, the health points on the left and then the ammo and grenades on the right. But the problem is, is when I was shrinking them in Fall UI, I started having weird artifacts, and I believe it's because of the New Vegas, what do you call it, the New Vegas mod that adds it adds the visuals, whatever I'm trying to say here. Which is too bad. I was looking for an option to try to shrink it. I think it's way too big. I keep hitting the F key. It's E, it's not F. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to get that one there. Okay, this is pretty sweet, I think. damage of you is 10. Okay, so you're still not any better. It would be really interesting if I knew how to shrink those numbers. I don't think they need to be that big. I've already shrunk the hidden. Instead of it being at the top and right in your line of sight, I've, I've dropped it down to the bottom left and made it a little smaller. Sir, the Mrs. and Young Shaw, they aren't here. Thanks for trying. I don't know what mod adds these, but there was a few of them that I could walk up to and they would like let you restore certain buildings. I don't know how I'm going to do all the cutting and the editing of the parts that I seem that I deem kind of dull. This right here. All right, I just checked that my settlements build settlements mod is enabled, so I don't know what I was seeing before, or maybe if I have to wait for a cutscene. But I, I could have swore I clicked on those, and they give you an option with like concrete to fix the place. This was a place that I didn't even know when the original Fallout was here. I um, I played with some mods that had like a shotgun back in the day that was down here. So that note I found, I don't even know if that's vanilla or if that's modded. A nailer. Well that's interesting, that was not down here last time. So I want to be really cautious to try not to, to save too much. So there's like a, a a threat, a real threat element. But at the same point, anytime I do like a massive inventory change, like for instance, all this gear I'm picking up, I will probably save it. So your damage 10. You're a little higher damage. And then there was a nailer. That could be interesting too. And then we will leave the I'll put it on. And then equip the fray grenade. So this right here is something that I will not save and reload. If I lose my last pin, game over. Miscellaneous, holotapes, 
journal. I wish there was a hotkey I could configure for that. So we got sanctuary, we have the cellar safe. And also, it'd be kind of cool to get used to this. I thought for a minute all my weapons showed up here, but it's only the ones I've hotkeyed, so I still have to go to the effort of, of hotkeying stuff. I think it's worth mentioning too, when I first started playing the mod list, I thought something was real broken with the difficulty because I was dying a lot. Because look at that, that skull already. Turns out though, you're just bad. You know, the player comes right out of the vault. The player comes right out of the vault, so of course they can't fight very well. I think that's the idea. You quickly get better armor. Looking at what I've picked up already, I've got the jumpsuit. Six damage resistant. Oh, okay, so he's, he's real fast, isn't he? Hit run. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what the strategy is here when... Radroach meat. I don't think I'm that desperate and normal to actually pick up the meat. Let's drink water again. Mm, does water not offer healing? So this guy here, there's a tick that's going to come out. I've died to him a lot. Oh, well, he's different. player takes a lot of damage, it's pretty wild, but you get gear, like, real quickly. I went to the Discord, like, I think a lot of people, so I still can't mine that, uh, that suitcase. Still gonna refer to this as the Tick House, that's how I know it. Oh! That's new. Oh god. I don't know what I would do with Cotsworth. Oh god. Guys. Nothing? That's not good. Why are there bloat flies here? Oh, they're fighting. Uh, oh, I shot him. A big river rat. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have shot him. Sorry, dude, I thought you were a threat. He walks just like a little pig does. A little waddle. Kind of funny. Yeah, adding all the different, like, rats and beavers. I didn't see them now, but when I started off my last game, the, the vault, there was some beavers by the river. I think the name of the game here is exploiting everything you can. Run faster without your gun.
One of my favorite things to do in Fallout and Skyrim in these open worlds was to always try to kite enemies when you're an early level and draw them back to another enemy that you know will kill them. I quite enjoy that. So you still have the option to cook rad roaches. I see it costs three. I thought it cost two. This is just me seeing if it's worthwhile to eat this. I can get into settlement rebuilding later. Bobby pin seven. But it's exactly what I'm looking for. I really wanted to play with more shaders. The mod pack that I was playing previously, I had this TRX, it was like photorealistic shaders. I've not played with shaders really at all in Fallout. What is that? It's an early game, you were definitely at a low level. They mentioned in the Discord about level lists or it not being. I don't even know what the word is. They're about level lists. They're unleveled. I guess anything can spawn near you. I don't. I don't know what what it means to be honest. I'm gonna run out of carry weight here with all these guns. Radcoons. Interesting. Here it is. I don't know what mod adds this, but I gotta be in in this mode to do it. I guess anytime you see a construction sign in a house, it lets you rebuild that house. That is actually really cool. Okay, so we're just at 61 steel. This is kind of interesting for me to see what this does. Okay, this is... Pocket door. Interesting. Leave that closed. Open that. Uh, cancel. Hit the wrong button. Escape. There we go. Okay, so transfer. So I click the weight button. It's going to show me the heaviest thing. Shotgun makes sense. A simplified SMG makes sense. A lot of this stuff does. Nailer. I had to Google this. I don't know if this is vanilla or it must be modded because I don't remember it. But 61 is, the first number is what you have on the page you're looking at. And the second number is what you're carrying. And then 120 is my total. Which doesn't make a lot of sense, right? How am I carrying more than what I'm totally carrying? I don't get it. Maybe it's because the fractional numbers add up in a weird way. The zap pistol, the nailer. Maybe I'll drop that. Reluctantly. 32, 9, 12. I think it makes sense to carry these four because I don't have lots of bullets for any of them. Alright, just save the game. This is an instance where I placed a bunch of stuff in settlements, re remanaged my inventory. But I'll definitely, you know, save it. But other than that, when I'm out doing combat and stuff, I'm going to try. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but I'm going to try to not save too much. I should really carry, carry that closer to my, my settlement.
See, all these creatures are kind of cool, that beaver and all that, because they're not hostile, but they make the world feel more, more alive. I haven't died yet. Hmm. This is new. I'd like to... Is there a plane crashing? Oh. I don't remember seeing that last time. Am I going to see an explosion? That's actually really cool to see during the, the night time. It would have been cool to see like a mushroom cloud. Assuming everything in this world, this universe is powered by a nuclear bomb. Ooh, the dog. He's even a higher level than me too. Like I was trying to say earlier, um, using Codsworth, using dog meat, you have to exploit. You want to come with me? You have to exploit the NPC. Is at the beginning the player is really weak. The rat chicken's red. Like how concerned should I be about you? Where did dog me find an enemy? Uh-oh. Dude. Whoa, what's going on? You're freaking me out, man. Oh, that's not good. A toxic stink bug. It appears all my favorites are gone. One, two, three, four. Those guys move kind of quick. Nice. If I throw a grenade here just for fun. Oh, I didn't get any ching there. Dog me found something. What'd you find? Please don't tell me it's what I found. I found this. No, I found that. Like I've been trying to say. I found the combat so difficult at the start, I had to go to the Discord to make sure I wasn't doing something wrong, and I'm not the first person to search or ask that question on the Discord. The overwhelming response is it is a skill level, skill issue on the player's part. You can't always just come into a game expecting to be, you know, mow down enemies. Sometimes you have to run, which is really cool about some of these harder mod packs. The player actually has to do like a calculation. Do I engage combat or do I run? Because normally in Fallout you just engage everything, right? When you're playing the vanilla game. Hey there. You look like someone who could use the talk. Hmm, that dog looks like a nerd. Oh, good. I didn't really want to sell. How much? How much for this dog? Hey there. Nice dog. You know what? I... Hmm. Well, I was after that free XP. I guess not. Can I pick up this quest? Oh, is he sleeping? That's close enough, stranger. Take We're your gun, peaceful man. Farm. We don't want any trouble. I bring trouble. I'll see what I can do. Good. Might as well pick up a few quests while I can. 
I'm assuming I cannot take their stuff. There's karma in this. I don't really know how to how to deal with it. Like, do I care? Oh. I know back in the day in New Vegas, it was kind of fun being an evil character. Did I just hear somebody scream? So there's a ton of zombies over there. This is a perfect example of knowing when to cut your losses. Like Kenny Roger. Kenny Rogers once said, you gotta know when to hold them. And you gotta know when to fold them. And I am not going to engage stronger enemies like zombies when I've got no armor and not many bullets. I'm, I'm definitely set up way better for guns this time around than my initial testing playthrough. I really like this flashlight, how, how big of an area it lights up. I think I was talking earlier. Ooh. I think these guys... What is that? A honey rager. Hmm. I'm expecting those to be red and these guys to be white. Hopefully they will not engage. Oh, here we go. This is a ton of armor. Wow. Damage two. Okay, that seems terrible. You're not charging me, are you? Okay. Yeah, so this is clearly not very good. So my defense just went up a ton. Five radiation versus having an extra two endurance. I'll probably keep the endurance. I might as well just drop that item on the ground. I guess to summarize, I will say that the Discord was right. It's definitely a skill issue. You. If you play defensively, it's pretty easy to get the gear. Aha, this is what I was looking for. This is really funny, I don't know, this must be a modded thing. I walked over here and I'm standing here and there's these toasters everywhere. I'm like, what the heck? And all of a sudden... I stood on that. Okay, I don't know if it's because I didn't crouch there, but I'm surprised I didn't die. I didn't have a plan. This exploded in my face. Everybody's got a plan until a bunch of toasters blow up in your face. I don't know if this has that mod that lets you... Let's enemies see you more if you've got your flashlight out. What I did last time was kind of cool. Again, playing this. What on earth is that? That's a legit dinosaur. Is it makes you play the game differently? I'm taking even pathing that I would normally never take, like I've never walked behind these buildings. When I've played before, but it, it definitely paid off because what happened was a 
big rad rad, but that's not good. Okay, so there was raiders down here. And I kind of circled around them. And they didn't see me. So yeah, I'd circled down here and I was like standing right here and then some raider with power armor came running by and then I don't know exactly how the factions worked because I'm pretty sure raiders are raiding, you know, Preston Garvey's town hall, whatever that is. And they just started fighting and there was a bunch of bodies at this house. I looted them for good gear, weapons. I'm set up a lot better now for both gear and armor and weapons. Yeah, like, wasn't there a person here just a second ago? One mod that I was really hoping was in here, and I wanted to add it, but I didn't, because it's high, it's highly likely to cause issues, was, like, the patrols. I like when the world feels more alive, and if you hang back, you can kind of witness things happening. But it's not going to happen this time around, which is kind of cool, because it means it's not scripted, right? Power armor came running down. Well, as long as I don't run into. Let's pause here and regroup. <laughs> as long as I don't run away into enemies who are worse. Nothing's worse than running from one fight that you feel like you're losing into a, a much worse one. But again, often you can kind of kite different factions together that hate each other and you can slip out. Much like I was saying, it's my favorite thing to do. Of course, it's not happening very dramatically right now. So far, this is all happening much worse. I'll find you. Okay, that was a pretty sweet throw. I can't believe the dog hasn't killed her yet. He's not really helping me very much, is he? other guy's doing that has the gun. He was kind of my main concern. Oh, this is a problem. Rocks are the worst thing. Sometimes you can go over them, sometimes you can't. Straight 
rugged. Now, what can I manipulate here for drugs and damage? AP. Damage resist? It's probably not a bad idea. Oh, I didn't realize there was a cutscene. Okay, that very, very easily could have turned out terrible. A grease gun. That looks like junk. Ooh, that looks good. That looks great. Road leathers. I think I have to actually carry those. So this is a negative, a negative. I like carrying the jumpsuit, so I'm going to keep that. The last time I'd played Fallout 4 was just vanilla, but survival mode. Which is kind of funny, it trains you to not like using stim packs. I was really torn about trying. survival again even with the saving feature because playing modded like you need to be able to save right okay, so we're actually over encumbered much as this stuff's cool. Oh, I can still wear the sunglasses. Nice. Probably should wear. Like, look how quickly. I haven't even fought the Deathclaw. I haven't even engaged with Preston Garvey yet. I'm, I'm getting organized and prepared for this fight. Ooh, what's this? I think this is actually better. Raider Blast Armor. We can drop that. Hey. Dog. Uh, trade. I think I'll save it right after this. I'm um, only got six bullets left of that. 21. For now, he might as well carry that. What else is super heavy that I don't maybe need? I really like this gun, though. It's a problem. Why do I have all this junk on me? A little bit more weight. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I never found this last time. A fox. I really like this, whatever, whatever it is. Red fox. No extreme mutation. They're good eating. Okay. So they're no threat, but they seem to be good eating. I was also reading in the Discord with the intention... ...with difficulty it's intended that you play on, and it seems to be normal. If you want to, you know, have the annoying food mechanics and water... 
You can turn that on, but there's no increase of difficulty. It's the same as normal, which I think is kind of cool. And like I already said, I would probably want to tinker with that stuff more. If it wasn't so needy. I think the food drink mechanics like a little too needy. If I knew enough about modded, I would dial it back myself. But I don't. Every time I look at the configuration for Fallout, there's just so much stuff. It's overwhelming. I just saved right there. Combat is done. Maybe that's what I'll try to do. Like, these are just kind of random little rules I'm trying to instill for myself, but I'll try not to do, you know, save scumming, right? In the middle of a combat. I'll try to do it at the end after I've kind of rearranged my inventory, looted the bodies, the threats are gone. Yeah, so this house last time was a complete... Ooh, bobby pins. Complete war zone. There was tons of bodies laying around. It was awesome. What is that? A bolt sniper rifle. That is so cool. What are we at? 140 again? What is this gun that I'm carrying? A shotgun? Hey, you come here. Yeah, so the shotgun I don't need to be carrying. It's still too much weight. Got 10 bullets. I really don't like the guns that I've got left here. I guess because of the weight, I'll give this to him. Probably don't need to be holding all that water. I wonder if that gives melee damage, I just realized. Oops. It appears to, give, to keep the lockpick in the same area. Oh, I'm gonna lose another one here. This is hard. It's like right here. That is that is actually surprisingly tough. Or not a lot of loot. I don't know if you can get the death claw now, or does it only open up come out of that hatch? After you've talked to Preston. I also don't know how close I can get. Without being seen. Last time I did this was at night time. Workhouse. Well, that's too bad. That means I have to actually get inside.
playing games with me, huh? I think I'd be better off if I wasn't doing this look middle of the day. Okay, so she's shooting at dog meat. Doesn't see me. This is kind of comical at this point. And somehow, there's all these buildings that I didn't realize you could go into in Concord. Oh, that's cool. They got cooked. Run straight hey, in. Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. And almost through the door, I cleared them out, man. I hate walking into interiors. The other neat thing about mods is... I'm positive some of the mods have updated some of the fights. She just kept coming at me. <laughs> wow. That, that's dumb luck. I thought I was going to get the drop on him. <laughs> okay. Clearly not very good with the gun. No damage. Time's up, asshole. Need some cover. Yes, I don't have to drop on these guys anymore. Goodness for dog meat there. I didn't really have a plan. You know, going back on what I previously said here, I'm going to be saving it. I don't feel like doing that fight all over again. I 
hit him. Well, that's weird. Usually they just charge you. Yeah, how much bullets can you? You like a bullet sponge. I've never had to deal. That's kind of lucky, but I wish it happened on the other guy. How do I not have experience yet? That is insane. Only seven rounds. As much as I like these guns, because they're new and I want to pick them all up, they, they weigh too much. And they're probably just junk. So, I don't think I need to waste my time with them. Is this one better? So if I do compare, if I hit Y on that... And I go to... Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. What you'll need is an... But we can't get... Look. I've come prepared. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally... Okay, you. We need to do some management here, because this is insane. Uh, three bullets with the sniper, probably don't need that. No bullets with that. Hunting carbine, I've got 26, I might as well take that guy back. There's the combat shotgun. We're not that desperate yet. And there's the zap pistol, I guess, if I'm really desperate. Careful, kid. There's... Something coming. And, and it's it's angry. Is it a death claw? Just throwing that out there. Maybe. Okay, I was gonna say maybe I should have saved there because that was taking a very long time to load. So power armor, 20 extra pounds. Which is not really a lot considering. I guess it offsets the cost. I'm not going to listen to that. So I don't understand why. Ooh, that 56 ammo is good. Why they give you a personal minigun. Because I can rip that one off. Maybe it's if you don't pick enough strength. I think you need strength of 8. The power armor gives you that strength. I don't know. Alright, I'll save it here before the big fight. I really should save it before I, I go through doors, especially in modded. I will say though, I haven't had a crash yet in this mod pack. Which is pretty sweet. Well, that's cool. A personal minigun. If I leave that there, because I actually lost the one in my last world. There you are. Up here. But we got somebody else. That is insane. Last time I did this fight at nighttime. So I don't know if it's gonna go the same. But I had left the power armor here. Okay, what I was trying to do was take this so nobody could come and steal my power armor. I know settlers can do that. I don't know. Again, with mods, it's like a whole new game, right? You don't know. You don't know what changes they've made. So it worked pretty well last time, but I... Brought out the Death Claw and let the Raiders fight it. 
Um, I don't know who's more dangerous to me. Oh god. I don't know why I thought, didn't think it was right there. I wasn't, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was looking at that raider. Oh, <laughs> that scared me. I did that for battery. Um, you. Oh, stop, stop moving. Okay, so I got too much, I got way too much weight. Oh my goodness. Um, how do I do this? Does that mean I have to like literally get rid of, I guess, all my guns? Anything I can do. I have to get rid of my armor, probably. Well, there. At least we can move now. And I'm saving it again. A bunch of that's like a, a bunch of preamble, right? Just setting up the fight. I don't feel like redoing it. I just want to get a better vantage point to see if the death claw is actually helping me. There you are. Hold up. Do you see him? That is insane. Wasn't there supposed to be a death claw over here? Something found you. After the battle, well, that's weird. That didn't happen last time. Good. Oh god! No! 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 Why do I have no weight? Because of this stupid minigun. Oh, I saw that coming. Jesus. None of this dialogue seems interesting. Paul. So I'm just gonna blow right through it. You're a man. I... and even the great... Look, kid. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. I shush, Preston. It, you mean she had Are one you of guys coming? While she was stoned out of her gourd. I don't know what makes sense to cut. When I'm just running through here looting. So I think anything noteworthy. Like that. Actually. Defense rifle. Okay, so clearly one has got higher damage than the other. Oh, it's because it's automatic. Hmm. This has a scope, though. I think I like that. I mean, maybe. Might have to be firing from the hip a lot. Ooh, Corvega. That could be a tough place to fight. Did I not equip my armor? Ooh, I didn't. I really like how the this stuff works with the plus minuses and the colors and all that. It makes it very easy to make a quick decision. Oh, there's a death claw. Herp tile meat. It's kind of gross. Ballistic fiber. 
I mean, I'm going right back to Sanctuary, so I might as well take... Hmm. Nah. No, I'm gonna have more guns to pick up, I think, than weapons. Armor. <laughs> the dog looks kind of psychotic. Just covered in blood and happy. Oh. Dude. You bark, you scare me. Oh. Increases the overall capacity by 30, minus 1 agility. That is cool. A harnessed metal container. I don't even know how to... That's my first legendary. I never actually encountered a legendary in my last, uh, my test world there. Test game. So can I just click on this? Oh, I lose the backpack. It seemed to that backpack, that raider backpack I picked up, actually has the ability to upgrade. Like it's upgradable. There's like mods for it. I could go check that out. But I'm curious to see where these people are. Okay, so they're already almost there. Oh, I never went this way last time. Wait, did I kill it? Well, this is my new favorite gun. Oh, oh my goodness, who's that? Oh, they're fighting. A mantis. I bet those are some pretty crazy bugs to, to fight with. No joke, there was a tick that would one-shot me. This right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Hmm. I'm not sure I ever walked with these people before. I'm commenting what the statue's kind of new. What's that? I could have swore they were called beavers, but maybe they're called rats. Oh, I was just going to say, in summary, it's wild I didn't get a level. But I did. So if we hide the ineligible. Okay, that's a lot of perks. Wow. That is really cool if somebody actually was to try playing survival. That's really cool, actually. Why be graceful when you got better things to do? By sacrificing extra bobby pins, you may tear through a lock. If it's too low, the bobby pin costs doubles. So I've got 17 robustness. Robustness. Okay, there is a lot of stuff to look through here. I don't know if it's just because instead of being the you know, vanilla way of all the pictures, you gotta look through a list. There's a lot of stuff I like, but getting this plus three right off the bat at level one or two, whatever I'm at, seems like it makes the most sense. So I'm getting 14 now, I should be getting 17 later. Ten Pines Bluff. Okay. Well, this is probably a good time to end it. Like I was saying, in summary, this is a very cool mod list. Keep calling it a mod pack. It's very well put together. It's got a very good readme.
Wasteland Reborn. The only modifications I've done is I've enabled Settler Build Settlements. It's included under Optional. And they start down here, all these things that are blue, and I've dragged them up. According to the Discord, it's got to be above PRP, if I'm understanding that right. It fixes a bunch of glitches with the, the visuals. And then I've added this. And I don't know where that goes, so I'm leaving it at the bottom. I think that's the highest load, load order, but it shouldn't affect anything.